Guys, say here we are. Say them out. What is the only variation that I say? The amount of fat, the amount of fat, the amount of fat, and the amount of water. That's right. Amount of water and amount of fat is what makes the difference between flaky and mealy, though. You have the recipe, guys. Yes, so make sure when you guys home, have that recipe and be ready for tomorrow. Water and fat. Chef, a full recipe, how many like, pie crust could you get? For the thing that you guys are doing, you guys are going to be able to do two pounds. Out of the half of the recipe? Half the recipe, you guys are going to be able to do two pounds. But I think you guys already know that you guys are only doing one point. Yeah, because there's, there's a lot of you guys. You know what I mean? Okay. But you guys will be able to make a good time. Okay. What's the fat amount this time? Seven ounces, chef. Seven ounces. No. Before we leave tonight, today, what are we going to do? Thank you so much. I don't want you guys to use warm shortening because it will be a nightmare. Okay, guys? Mm -hmm. You need to make sure the shortening is cold. Every fat has to be cold. Okay, guys? Okay. Now, I think you guys, you guys will have a... We'll have a better perspective as to, you know, and the reason why I keep saying about the pioneers is that, yeah, you know, they, they use fat and all that, but I mean, like, how, how did they do it while well, it was like 118 degrees, you know what I mean? Because you hear a lot of, like, cooking taking place in, in the south, you know? So, you know, kudos to them. is to be fairly, fairly big. Does that make sense to you guys? Right? Yeah. Okay. So they're gonna be, they're gonna be again, what we are shooting for is like a pea size, but you guys notice some, some of them are slightly bigger. Right guys? Okay. So you guys also notice how quickly I reached it, reached this point. Yes? Yes. Okay. Let's get some water. Uh, three ounces, yeah. Three ounces, yeah. Three ounces, yeah. Three ounces, yeah. 
Okay, water goes in, three ounces of it, and again we're going to go ahead and start collapsing from within, right guys? process will be repeated until you don't see the dry specs. But we are not going to do anything thereafter. Remember with the other ones we hand kneaded it, right guys? Because common sense will tell you if you do anything like what we've been doing, the shortening will become part of it. So when your finished product is finished, you'll see the shortening still in time. Okay, guys? Flaky as to that flaky, and there's something, you're part, something part in it. You know okay. what I mean? 